Well, I'm uh, Dave Osborne with the Naples Daily News here at Fort Rock. We're here with one of the legends of uh, heavy metal, one of the co-founders of Megadeth, David Ellison. How you doing, David? You got it right. You got it right. Yeah, he's awesome. Uh, cool. I practiced for a while. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. It's great, great to be here. Great. You know, this is your first Fort Rock. Uh, what do you think of it so far? It's it's incredible. You know, I had a uh, second home down here for a few years, okay. and I'm just reminding me of how hot it is and also how awesome it is. You have two of my favorite baseball teams down here with the Boston Red Sox okay. and the Minnesota Twins. Good, good. Love that, love that. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and, and when you look out in the crowd and you see like a lot of like uh, millennials, a lot of younger people, did you ever think there'd be people listening to your music that weren't born when you guys started? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I'm going to date my own self right now. You know, it's funny. We, uh, we used to do a lot of these radio festivals in the late 90s. In yeah. fact, we had a record that we did called Cryptic Writings, and it really, we got invited to do a lot of these kind of radio mm -hmm. festivals. And the new kids at that time were Seven Dust. You know, yeah. they're then Rob Zombie, they were coming up the ranks. Yeah. And it, you're right, it, to come back here, I guess, 20 years later now, and to be playing mm -hmm. these festivals again, um, and to see those guys still being here, yeah. and they've risen to the top, and uh, and now to see a new generation come up is really it's it's a great thing, man. We have to keep investing into our own mm -hmm. tribe. Yeah, and the uh, the Dystopia album uh, dropped a few months ago. Some of the thought songs like the Threat is Real, um, other music. You plan to play some of that tonight? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. You know, Dystopia is one of these records that we just we we have. I don't know. I guess about five songs in the set. I mean, we're kind of altered a little bit maybe for tonight. Mm -hmm. But um, we've got our classics that we have to play. You some know. Piece, piece, some piece, peace cells. Yeah, peace cells, symphony. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like the hit list of the classics. And, those, yeah. you know, good problem to have. You know, I, yeah. I hear some artists going, I'm so tired of playing that song. And, you know, when you have a band who has hit songs, uh, it's a good problem to have to keep playing them for 30 years now, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, um, in fact, I hear people on the radio and I'll hear voices and I'm like thinking, man, thinking 20, 30 years ahead, you should probably sing that a little lower. Because yeah. you're gonna, <laughs> yeah. if it's a hit, you're going to have to be singing it for 30, yeah. 30 40 years from now, you yeah. know. But with Dystopia, you know, we were, we go way deep into that record, you know. And it's yeah. one of these albums where there's even, like, I think two more songs that we're looking at adding into the set yeah. as we continue to go around the world. So it, it's great to have a record like that that we can go deep tracks into it. Like with, uh, you know, you and co-founder Dave Mustaine, do you guys collaborate, co collaborate a lot on the music or the lyrics, or how does that work? You know, every record's a little different. Dave really did the, the bulk of the writing on this one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when Kiko had joined the group, he came in and had a really terrific uh, creative uh, input into it because mm -hmm. of his uh, Brazilian roots. You know, in fact, when I was talking, I knew Kiko a little bit, and I called him up to, you know, about getting the gig. and. And I said, so who are your influences? And he goes, man, I'm all about Led Zeppelin and Brazilian jazz. And I'm wow. like, man, you couldn't have said two better things to get the job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, again, uh, Dave Osborne here at Four Rock with David Ellefson. And we're here uh, all weekend doing updates. Uh, thanks again for your time, David. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and look forward to hearing from the show. Awesome. See you on the stage. Thank you. Yep, see Thank you. you. Thank you.